Hey Virgo, so I'm here to do your reading from the 8th of May until the 15th of May. We do have Mercury going into retrograde, I forgot to mention that in the Gemini. And it is uh, Virgo and Gemini ruling planet. It goes, it goes into retrograde on the 10th of May until the 2nd of June. So bringing issues back from the past, that type of energy. We all know where the Mercury retrograde. Uh, these will be extended readings, so this is part 1 of the reading. Part 2 you can find in the description box below. Hit that little V sign, let it drop down to the description box. Um, hit the Vimeo link for this particular reading. If you want to check your Sun, your Moon, your Rising and your Venus. Uh, and if you want access to all of the extendeds every week, all month. Uh, or if you want to cross watch and check out other people than that. Um, all that is available on my Patreon. And I do want to say a massive thank you to the people that have already signed up to my Patreon. Because honestly, you don't even know what that means. Um, so I'm going to dive straight in for Virgo from May the 8th to May the 15th. What energy is is it holding for Virgo? The eight, emotional withdrawal. So the eight is always the karmic number. Uh, so there could be like karmic lessons coming in, that type of thing. But this week they're asking you to kind of like emotionally withdraw and go with the flow with certain things. It could be hard, you know, and in that we find a lesson. We find a lesson of patience, um, you know, but it's about getting on top of your emotions as well. Um, with the emotional withdrawal card so what's crossing that energy is your intuition the challenge is to trust your intuition you know so your intuition could be telling you one thing especially in regards to emotions and things that you need to kind of go with the flow with um the crossing energy is trusting that intuition you know trusting that guidance because when we're waiting for something um we can the intuition can kind of go out the window we kind of know when it's coming but we can get a bit impatient that type of energy. And I really feel like you need to trust your intuition. Uh, I feel like new doors are going to be opening. You know, and behind that door, there's light. So there could be like shedding light on a certain situation. So why is this coming right now from my Virgos? Emotional loss. So you could be nursing some kind of um, pain, some kind of healing. But to me, the emotional loss card is allowing that energy to shift so when we're going to grief or heartbreak or anything like that, we can hold certain energies within us and then manifest into physical symptoms and that type of thing. Sometimes we've got to kind of like nurse the pain, but let go of the energy, let go of that frequency. Because if we hold on to that, you know, it, it affects us. It manifests in different ways. It is a five. So big changes coming up. Um, you are going through some kind of change. I feel like you're letting go of the old ways of dealing with things. In the recent past, from a Virgos, partnerships and alliances, you could be letting go of a person, you know, that type of thing. But the partnerships and alliances card, I feel like you do have good people around you. You know, you do have good friends around you. People who are going to, like, kind of pull you out that dark hole type of energy. So, talk. Make sure you're talking to people. Make sure you're talking to your friends. Um, I feel like you've got um, people who've got your back. That type of energy. It's nice. And at present, you have got triumph, you, you know. So whatever it is that's going on, I do feel like you you are going to be triumphant, you know, seeing the red flags where they are red flags. But I feel like you're on the verge of a major triumph. And that could be where this, like, impatient energy is coming in. I feel like there is a, a triumph coming up. But it may have caused a lot of pain in the heart. Or maybe you're just keeping hold of that from the past. Because we do, we do, like, kind of keep hold of the negatives rather than the positives um seven with that just looking at your numbers oh it's a waiting game I feel, yeah i'm getting like impatience a waiting game you feel like you're going around in circles and nothing's actually happening but it's so is because we've got something there you, you know the tree is spreading its roots and it's starting to blossom so you need to see yourself as like being grounded and safe with your roots and you are you're allowed to blossom you know you may feel like you're going around in circles and that's totally okay we're human and then we've got five again financial and material changes you know so they could be i kind of want to say be careful of overspending as well this week um virgos just be careful of overspending but again i'm going towards relationships some of virgos could be going to a high level of commitment um after a certain period of loss you know so don't lose faith your power is spiritual strength your power is your spiritual strength it's your intuition it's to use that intuition that you've been born with you know i feel like you're just like tuning in 
it's your power is that to trust in that the outside influence is passion ignited so you're going from this loss to this burning newfound passion or this something like exciting you know it's it, it's the ace of wands in this card could be doing five signs of cherish leo aries but again it's like self-worth self-love you know that type of thing you may have lost some of that in past relationships and now you're kind of like building that back with the emotional loss card there is like a grief energy here i am gonna say that um because i can feel it in the hopes and faith position we do have material and spiritual prosperity using your spiritual side to kind of balance the material as well so gaining like a balance between the material and spiritual but the prosperity is for you to do good for you to better of yourself you know it's the six peace love harmony and balance and your outcome is that's all the places trusting your gut instinct you know any decisions that need to be made make them from here you know i always said this is the alarm center of the body you know and um i asked a lot of women i don't know why but in the last few months i keep asking women that have been in abusive relationships um i've not come across any men like i've spoken to but i know there is but i always say to them like when you met them where did you feel it and every single one of them said here you know and that's where i felt it and i thought it was butterflies at the time i thought this is excitement and now i think my body was like oh my god wait 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 you know that's avenger always trust your instincts uh your instincts are really high at the moment i'm gonna get some clarity on this before i hit the extended so emotional withdrawal tell me what virgo is emotional withdrawing from and again be careful in mercury retrograde it can be, bring issues up from the past um i would say don't sign legal documents you know that type of thing maybe that's where you need to be careful with the financial material changes so we do have the death card some of my virgos could have actually lost someone so i really do send out my love um if that's the case but i feel like you just want in the end of a situation with the death card could be dealing with scorpio but i feel like you just want that ending but i do feel like there's an ego shift um you know like a from ego to spirit there's a transformation going on within you at this moment so what's challenging that is your intuition trust in that intuition yeah the eight of cups so you can move on the search for something more meaningful ending that cycle so there is an emotional loss here in the past we've got the ten of cups in reverse you know again emotional upheaval it could have even split a family with the ten of cups in reverse there's, there's been a period in time where emotions have just run awry you know depression um grief upset tears i wanted to say tears at bedtime then but you are on your way for triumph we've got the triumph and we've got the six of wands victory and success public recognition so again there could be something public maybe that's what you're kind of like um waiting for for other people to know the truth you know that type of energy there is going to be some kind of change let me try and have a look at this the ace of swords some kind of truth and clarity coming in some kind of information coming in again it can be contracts it can be legal the three of wands just be patient knowing that's meant what's meant for you or what is supposed to come will never pass you by and i feel like there's a massive impatient energy uh, trust that intuition especially in regards to relationships the two of cups so there could even be a new relationship coming in um your power the spiritual strength your power is you the ten of pentacles it's safety it's security it's spirit watching over people i definitely feel like there's a strong spiritual connection i haven't had that in these readings today but we've got loyalty there as well it's who you can trust and you know your power is to trust in yourself the outside influence is passion being ignited for something the nine of pentacles you know independence building yourself back up living rather than existing um it's a nine it's a change again it's transformative energy you've got to trust in yourself that you know some of my virgos could even be looking towards like self-employment new career opportunities um bettering yourself and using your past pain as a power now we've got the nine of cups nine nine the, the nine of cups making your own wishes granted you know and being proud of your achievements your outcome is the solar plexus trusting that gut instinct in a certain situation what's that balance temperance patience <laughs> patience is definitely a virtue 
this week, Virgo. It seems to be like a running energy for yourself. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. But then we've got the Fool card. Taking a leap of faith, you know, taking those risks that you need to take. Trusting your intuition to guide you towards the right people, the right places. So I'm absolutely loving this. I feel like there's new beginnings. It could even be travel for some of my Virgos coming up. Maybe that's what the documents, the legal documents are. Maybe you're getting that sorted. So then you can venture out. Trust your intuition. It's going to lead you well. So if this is where I leave you, I'll leave you with lots of love. And I'll be back next week. And if I'm seen on the extended, I'll meet you over there now. Okay, bye.